China is again planning major activities in space for the year 2023, counting some 70 launches, even more than the hyper busy 2022. One cargo ship mission, two manned space missions, and two return missions are already lined up for the year, according to a space blue paper released Wednesday. And other major projects are in the works, including a new heavy duty rocket still being developed that could thrust 6,000 tons. We expect the heavy rocket project to be approved this year, as we have completed all key technology research. Now, the overall plan for the heavy rocket construction has been set. It will be reusable, smart and efficient. When the heavy rocket is put to use in high orbit missions, its takeoff weight will reach 4,000 tons. Its takeoff thrust will reach 6,000 tons. With reuse capability, in the future, heavy launch vehicles that are fully reusable will be developed. Such rockets in high orbit missions will work for the construction of the Lunar Research Station, Lunar Resource Development, the construction of the Mars Research Station, and MAN Mars Exploration. In low Earth orbit, the China Space Station is now complete and will have more first attempts. In 2023, we've entered a development and operation stage for China Space Station. This year, the space station system will not only work and support it simply, but will also work on the ground support system that includes the digital China space station, as well as new development plans for the space station expansion. Schindler 15 and 16 crews will have multiple spacewalks in 2023, and this is a year where we will for the first time see the space station's two robotic arms link and work to support payload installation. This is a year, for the first time, we'll see men and the cargo go extravehicular together at the same time. The year could also see a record number of satellites going up. In 2023, we often see missions where one rocket carries multiple satellites. We plan to carry over 90 satellites to orbit this year. Such arrangements not only show the range and capabilities of our rockets, but also how fast the commercial space sector is developing. Right now, it's at peak.